The crew fought off what they could, but we were too late. Cursed cult guards, Mistyus. Look what they've done. They've killed them. My poor pet slaughtered like animals. We have to move! Nileas may be in danger! I'll ready the ship! You should go. There's nothing left you can do here. Save your strength. You may still survive this. I'm a physician, Mistyos. I know when a patient is dying. Here, the antidote I promised. I always right my wrongs, yes, yes. I'll give this to Nileas. It's his best hope, but don't expect a miracle. I won't leave you like this. You can kill me and end my misery once and for all. Please, it's all I ask. What exactly happened to all these people? It looks like a slaughter. Oh, the cult guards happened, yes, yes. It was a slaughter. They were here to send a message to you, Mistyos. They know you've been snooping around. Hold still, so I can make it clean. Thank you, Mistyos. This is an outrage. We've had enough of those masked soldiers. They need to leave Limnos one way or another. Why did they burn the house? You know why, Malaka. Those cursed soldiers came down here from their cursed stronghold. They thought Mikos was up to something. Working against them, this has to end. It will end. Those soldiers are called guards, and there is a general among them. Don't worry. They won't be here much longer. Yes, because we're going to go up there to end this, right? You should all stay home. Keep each other safe. I'll take care of the ancient stronghold and the cult guards. <sighs> yes, you're right, Malaka, you're right. They're professional soldiers. We're humble merchants and fishermen. We're counting on you, Mistyos. They have plagued this region for too long. The villagers won't have to worry about these cult guards again. What did you find? Are they okay? Did you run into the crew I sent? They haven't returned either! We're here! Nileas! They found us just before the cult guards arrived. We were nearly killed. We're lucky Nileus wasn't killed. It sounds like certain death was just minutes away. Here, take this. Drink that. It will help you get better. And how about the villagers? The villagers are fine. I sent them home and chased the cult out of their stronghold myself. You continue to amaze, Alexios. You didn't just save my nephew. You saved all of Lemnos and Thassos from the cult guards plaguing them. Come, Nileas. I have many stories to catch you up on. We are all alone now, Mistyos. After such an adventure, I'm sure you want to take some time to relax. So much has happened. Has it changed what you'll do now? It hasn't changed a thing. We will rebuild the house and we will rebuild Nileas' stamina. He will be an Olympian yet. You know, I would like to relax. In my younger days, I was known for my massages. I don't want a massage. Then, what do you want? First, I want you to kiss me. Then, I'll want you to take me somewhere private. Finally, I'll want you to take off all of your clothes. As you command. Followers of Ares are with Hades now. Thank you, Mistyos. How can we repay you? You can't put a price on justice. Those men deserve the end they got. You gave us something that Achmi can't buy. Peace. For that, we will be forever grateful. But we cannot leave you without sowing our gratitude. Please take this. I have no need for it any longer. Beast Slayer, I'm glad to see you again. The bull put up quite a fight, but his pelt is yours. You are remarkable. Years of training made me a warrior. Life as a Mistyos has honed those abilities. Then, at the least, you should applaud yourself for your dedication to your art. I'll return when I have more pelts.
Ah, I could hear your footsteps. Welcome back. You'll be glad to know I've been to the Statue of Athena at the Acropolis. Ah, if only I could have been there to feel her presence. Would you describe her to me? If Athens is a city of statues, then Athena is their guardian. She stands high above everything, on guard over the city. Yes, not just standing tall to protect Athens, but to serve as a reminder of the suffering those poor people endured during the invasion. Your turn to tell me something. You said a man tried to kill you. The man who rose up to kill the tyrant Xerxes was named Darius. He was of a new creed of killers. Unlike any Persia had known, he was also the man hired to kill me. A killer of kings, hired to kill a simple blind man. Why? I have your interest, do I? Tell another tale, and I will too. I've traveled to the Acrocorinth. From there, I could see all of Corinthia. Ah, I can only wonder at what the worshippers of Aphrodite do to pay her tribute. The Atera keep the spirit of Aphrodite alive, usually well into the night. Exactly as your goddess deserves. When I was younger, I'd lie awake dreaming of what it would be like to go worship, of course. Now that's out of the way, you owe me a tale. You said the king killer Darius was hired to kill you too? He was. By my brother. Your brother? None of this is making any sense, old man. I trust you. So I will tell you. My brother and I are the last living sons of King Xerxes. Impossible. That would make you a king. I was. My name was Artaxerxes. I guided Persia through a time of peace. But my brother wanted the throne and plotted my death. Now, I hide here. Exiled, living the life of a simple beggar. I will tell you more, but first... Yes, yes, a tale for a tale. I return to Mount Aegatos. Return? Tell me, did you meet the mountain god who devours Spartan children? The mountain is just a mountain like any other. What makes Aegatos a place of suffering is the people there. That is true of all the world's worst places. When I was a child... I could tell from the moment I met you that you carried the burden of suffering. Let it stay in the past. Now you tell me, King Artaxerxes. How can I believe your story? You don't exactly look like royalty. <laughs> well, that's the point. I am hiding. Show me proof. I could. You see... I knew a man named Themistocles. The Athenian general. I heard stories about him being ostracized from Athens. All the petty politics. He came to Persia to me, looking for refuge. I was king, but only a boy. He spent his days learning Persian and telling me stories of his home. Places like the Acrocorinth, Mount Daegetos. The places you wished you could see. I loved the tales and loved Themistocles like a father. He was kinder to me than Xerxes ever was. Tell me one last tale and I'll tell you why he hid his treasure. If you'd like to hear about the bird, I could describe it to you. Nothing would make me happier. It's a majestic statue, built from the blades of fallen soldiers. It's so high above Stymphalos and the golden fields below. Up there, I could forget there was a war. So it is as it was told to me. The bird commemorates Heraclius' fight against chaos built on a place of calm. Hopefully, one draws out the best in the other. So, I've been to the five places the Mistocles told you about in his tales. For that, my soul will be eternally grateful. As for my tale, Themistocles died peacefully in Persia, as one of us. I promise him I'd see the places he told me about. His stories will live on in me. And now you. And what of your story? 
I let the people believe Darius succeeded in killing me, so I could escape. Artaxerxes, there's something else you should know. Yes? My grandfather was Leonidas of Sparta. That means... Your father, King Xerxes, killed my grandfather. Then you are bound by blood to avenge him. Artaxerxes, false king! This Mystios led me right to you! Time to finish what I started. Alexios, please! Stand behind me. Artaxerxes, are you hurt? Despite being bound by honor to avenge Leonidas, you saved me. Thank you. I had no choice. That man wanted you dead. Must have been another one of your executioners. It was. If he doesn't return to Persia, my brother will send another. Then another. It's time this old man accepts his fate. You're a brave man, Artaxerxes. A trade I learned from Themistocles. Now, as for you, I owe you payment. Well, I did save your life, and I went on an adventure for you, your highness. You did. And in your retelling, I felt like Themistocles was speaking through you. For your reward, go to the tomb in Salamis where Themistocles hid his treasure. It will be near where he made his triumphant stand against my father's navy. These men look like they need a doctor. They're lousy sparring partners. Every last one. I need professionals to practice with before the Battle of 100 Hands. I need a champion. Maybe your champion has arrived. Is that right? If you're serious, I am a sanctioned competitor in the battle. You practice with me, and Rakios will let both of us officially enter. This battle? The Battle of 100 Hands is the most grueling contest in the Greek world. The body count is high, and the chance of success low. Are you sure that's something you want to train for? Killing's what I do, and I do it well. You have the right attitude, I'll give you that. But you can't simply power your way to victory in the Battle of 100 Hands. It takes preparation. If this battle is so difficult, why enter it at all? I'm not from a family of means, champion, and have always dreamed about the Hundred Hands purse. My father, my brother, tried to win it years ago. Even my mother entered last time. And now, they're all gone. Dead. You want the Drachmi? I don't care about the Drachmi, not now. I need to save my family's legacy from the edge of yet another champion's blade. I need to win, and become like a hero of old. If the battle's so hard, why do you think you'll win? I train at all hours until my body gives out. Before bed, I make offerings to Ares. I wake in the night to strategize, and then I rise in the morning to do it all again. That's an impressive amount of work. If I don't win the battle, at least I'll know I've done all I can. You mentioned I should talk to Thracius about officially entering the battle. Where can I find him? He's usually in the town on Melos. Doesn't go far. Let's say I want to fight in the Battle of 100 Hands. Then fight me, and prove you are a worthy training companion. You asked for it! It seems you are the champion I've been looking for. A real Spartan, if I'm right. You are. I sensed it in the way you fought. Aggressive, but not reckless. My name's Roxana. Alexios. Next on the agenda is archery training. Are you ready? I'm ready. So eager. Well, a shipment of wolves has wrecked on shore nearby. They were meant to be part of the battle. But now, there are practice targets. Let's go hunting. We're a safe distance here. Now shoot these cursed wolves before they start taking down the local children. I'll see if there isn't a thing or two I can learn from you. 
It's nice to be out here. Just the two of us. Is that right? There were a lot of onlookers when we sparred. You'll be happy to know the rest of our training will be more... private. On with the hunt. I can always use more pelts. A true champion. I knew it. Ready your bow. It's done. All the wolves are dead. You elevate archery to an art form. Even Sophocles couldn't captivate me like that. How much more training will we do before I can enter the battle? What? You don't want to spend more time with me? This time with you has been... <laughs> I don't know what to say. Say no more. In a strange way, I see my own reflection in you. Yes. We've only just met, and yet... we have a... connection. You're a unique creature, Alexios. There's one more step to our training. Where to? My house. Shall we continue? Now that we've saved the children of Hydria from a pack of hungry wolves, I guess we can move on? You jest, but that was a real nuisance we dealt with. Your choices have an impact, Alexios. Your actions have already benefited the people here. So, shall we complete our training? We do have unfinished business. The training? Or the company? We've been having so much fun. Fighting each other, killing wolves. Go on. I think you'll like this next challenge. Yes? We're going to have a foot race. First one to the high point on the island wins. The last part of training is a race? The battle of 100 hands is about skill, strength, and most of all, endurance. A tired competitor is an easy target for someone with stamina. I make regular offerings to Hermes to stay fast. And if I win this race, what will I get? Bragging rights alone. Great. It's not the result you should be after, it's the training. After this, you will be ready to enter the Battle of 100 Hands. I will vouch for you, and you will vouch for me. I'm ready. You said race to the high point? Yes, the plateau on the other side of town. When I say go, the race is on. Three, two... <sighs> oh, you're fast, even with all that gear. It's easy to forget how beautiful it is here. When you're training so hard, you mean? I travel a lot, but it's often at the service of others. I can be so focused on Drachmi that I lose sight of what's in front of me. And what's that? The ocean breeze on my face, the sun on my skin, a sturdy horse to ride. I come up here to remind myself to live in the moment. I can see how that might work. <laughs> I'm telling you, he was never fully dressed, and some people on Kithira built a statue to this man. Malakas Empedocles. <laughs> what became of him? That's Melos Island right there, where so many warriors go to die. At the battle, we may have to fight each other, and only one of us will survive. I thought you came up here to live in the moment. How's this for in the moment? Let's make it more than a moment. Must you wear so many layers? Comes with the job, I guess. <laughs> 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 I guess this is goodbye. 
Until the battle, I mean. Let's not make this difficult. I can't help thinking. We don't have to cross swords. You could skip the battle as easy as I can, but you won't. You're right. Goodbye, Roxana. I met Roxana on Hydria. She says you're the one to talk to about entering the battle on Melos. Indeed I am. My name's Rakios. Alexios, I'm interested in competing in this... What did you call it? The Battle of 100 Hands draws warriors from all corners of the Greek world to compete for a large purse. But as competitions go, it's also very deadly. A last person standing type of affair. Killing is how I make my track me. This battle will be no different. It's true. You have the look of a mythical hero about you. I expect future generations to sing songs in my honor. If you join the battle, you'll have the chance to prove your mettle against the best. And because the battle is backed by the most powerful and influential people in the Greek world, the purse is always growing. If you mean the people I think you mean, then I would like to meet them and have a few words. Indeed. They are the kind of people I would never speak about openly. You know, you do look like someone I've met before. Another fierce warrior. Family resemblance, perhaps. You mean Demos? Then this battle is backed by the cult. Of course, I can't talk about that. Not with any old challenger, but become the champion of the Battle of 100 Hands, and I'll tell you all I know. I want to fight in the battle. I thought you might. The only rule is that every competitor must train with another competitor, and they must vouch for each other. I've already met Roxana on Hydria. So I've heard. She was going to be my top recommendation, as she's amongst our highest-ranked contenders. If you can train with her, then there is certainly a place for you in the battle. What started the tradition of a free-for-all battle on Melos? I started it with some financial support from the powerful people I mentioned. The metaphor is that each combatant is battling a hecaton here. The creature with 50 heads and 100 hands. Indeed. By defeating all the competitors, it's as if the champion has slain the creature itself. Quite an achievement. Not something to be attempted by the weak. Indeed. What do you know about Roxana? She is from a long line of aspiring champions. Indeed, virtually her entire family has tried to win the Battle of 100 Hands. Aspiring champions? None of them were as skilled as Roxana, it must be said. How did you become the person who organizes the battle? I was an up-and-coming merchant in these parts. Down on my luck, it turned out. Owed a few favors, then some powerful people called in those favors. Turned out to be good for me. Blood sports are big business on Melos. These powerful people you mentioned, they're the cult of Cosmos, aren't they? The mysterious ones. You want to meet them? I know, but it will have to wait. How long? I stay close with all of my champions. If you win the battle, it's something we can discuss over victory wine. I'm ready to compete. Indeed. Roxana tells me your training went well. Meet me inside the city gates. The battle will begin soon. We are gathered here again for the battle of 100 hands. Indeed, impressive warriors from all over the Greek world have come to test their might and skill against each other. Whether it is the sharpest sword in the Athenian army, or the broadest shield Sparta can master, all now stand alone against the many. At our climax, the final two will face off on a special battlefield. But only one will be called champion. Let the battle of 100 hands begin! Remember that horn! You'll hear it throughout the battle, marking your progress! Now, fight!
Is there a final challenger? Indeed there is. Patience, Alexios. Patience. Tell me, Drakios, is it Roxana? Is she alive? Your final challenger approaches! Come! We will finish this in the shadow of the volcano in the east! It seems like the training is paid off. I was about to say the same. Enough chatter. Our patrons demand a champion. Finish this! We can lay down our weapons. There is nothing more to prove. This is outrageous! Roxana, only one of you can win the battle and become champion. We don't have to kill each other. Think of the riches, Roxana! Indeed, everything you've dreamed of is almost within your grasp. We can walk away. Only one of you can walk away a legend! The stakes were clear from the beginning, Alexios. Don't do this. I'm so close. Enough! The battle must end now! No! Roxana, we decide how this ends, not him. I'm beginning to think there are things more important than riches and glory. Join me on my ship! There are more adventures for us, out on the Aegean! I will! I will join you! No! You must finish the battle! It's over, Drakios! It's over, when I say it's over! Guards! Thank you, champion. So, I'll see you at my ship? Yes. I'm ready to go wherever the sea wind takes us. Wherever it is, adventure awaits. For both of us now. What's wrong? My workers are sick. At this rate, I won't be able to feed my own family, never mind theirs. The good news is, this isn't the work of the gods, but a sickness of the body. The throat in particular. I could treat the workers, if I had my medical supplies. Mistios, would you get them for me? I wouldn't want them to suffer. Well said. Such goodwill deserves a reward, doesn't it? Huh? Oh, oh, oh of course, of course, yes. I have something worthwhile to trade for the service. Will you do it? I'll find your supplies. Excellent. My tools are in Ancient Pearl, and the drugs are in Lover's Bay. Ancient Pearl is pretty big. Where exactly did you leave your tools? In the clinic at Vrisa Fort. Where exactly in Lover's Bay should I look? At the leader house in Midilini, northeast of the temple. I'll come back with your supplies. The faster you do, the sooner I can help the workers. I found your supplies. Thank you. These are specialized items. I couldn't have replaced them in time. Oh, my grapes are saved! I get the feeling that's all you've cared about from the start. Without grapes, there is no work! By healing the workers, you've saved my farm. Take this. Do you have my seals yet? Why, yes, I do. Good. The Spartans will soon realize someone is picking off their senior commanders. Probably, but they haven't caught me yet. Interested in more work? Of course. What do you need? At this rate, the Spartans will need to recruit from their farmers. You're really not fond of Sparta. Would you be, were you me? They challenge all that Athens stands for. They care nothing for art, or education, or philosophy. For them, warfare is the only goal. Strange thing to hear from a general in the Athenian army. I serve Athens with arms because I am skilled with fighting and strategy. But I protect those who serve our culture and legacy. They're lucky to have you. I've earned my place. Would you be interested in more work removing Spartan commanders? I'll get you your seals. Why do you think the Spartans are attacking Athens now? Why do they do anything? For conquest, for glory. 
because they know no other life than war. What will you do with all these seals? For now, I'll use them as proof of what I've achieved. It will give my words weight. Very few Athenians have ever seen a Spartan seal. But you have plans for them later. Someday, I want my children to see them. Then they'll witness me donate them to a temple. That should inspire them to earn their own. You seem thoughtful. Thinking of what happened to your grandfather? No. Thinking of the first battle I lost. What happened? I overestimated my own abilities. We were supposed to lay siege to a city, but I was impatient. I felt the need to prove myself at the expense of my men. You abandoned the siege? Yes. I led an attack my men weren't prepared for on Etolia. It was pure hubris on my part, and my men paid for it. My closest friend died in the battle. Never again. I see why you're so determined to get the Spartans at a disadvantage. They are already at a disadvantage. They made an enemy of me. I know enough to keep going. You see? They're here! The, the gods are... behind this door! Listen. I didn't mean to be away so long. Kithera is... well... If you're looking to unleash a new plague somewhere... This is not what I expected. Camouflage, my unimaginative friend. A mere disguise to ward off those seeking the glory inside. <coughs> ah! You hear them too? There is something there. And whatever's making that noise must be... two or three times the size of a man. Quickly, use a disc! Open the door. They're expecting us. Whatever's inside, I'm ready. My brothers and sisters! The house of the gods! Creators of the universe! Outstretch your mighty hands and raise me to the heaven! just had to keep my eye on it. Hurry. This artifact will help us close off the temple. You're nearly as stubborn as its former owner. Owner had many questions for me. You should have come along. My fellow precursors set endless challenges in your path. Artifacts, creatures. Don't get me started on the Olympus project. Their meddling got out of hand. I have no easy answers for you. Your future depends on a multitude of choices you have to make for yourself. I'm sorry if so many of them end in pain. 
Your playwright's tragedies are your real oracle. But please, don't give up. You are more important than you can imagine. And like your own Pandora, I have one thing left to offer you. Hope. Despair is not our only legacy. You're like me, a rebel against your destiny. You're not just a mercenary. You're a hero for the ages. Hold fast to what you know is true, and you will overcome. Claim your place in history. All that is terrible and beautiful in this world is your birthright. Take it. Her words are for you, Eagle Bearer. My preparations bear fruit. The potential of your bloodline is proven by the precursors themselves. Alethea says she can see the future. Many futures. Can this be a true oracle? Ancient scholar, you stretched your life to the breaking point. I see you hiding yourself from the world, puzzling out the words of my fellow precursors. Please, listen to my advice. You're analyzing the equations of reality itself. You've gotten further than any other human has. That is both amazing and terrible. It's clear to me that even this tiny dose of cosmic understanding has twisted your mind. I'm sorry. The Precursors should never have shared knowledge you weren't ready for. You live in obsessive darkness. You must understand that this focus on power and bloodlines is not your true legacy. The Precursors have manipulated you. They're turning your problem-solving intellect to their own selfish ends. You're better than this. Make your own legacy. Let your mathematical discoveries be the glorious sunbeams that shine out past your tomb. Please, scholar, clear your mind and focus on your present situation. At this moment, you possess a powerful artifact. It has extended your life long enough. As hard as it may be, it's time to pass it on. It's someone else's turn to balance the equations. No. No. Lies. This is not obsession. This is research. This is discovery of the very origins of the world. It is an opinion, Pythagoras. Though, one with reason behind it, I believe. Traveler of many times, congratulations on making it this far. I'm glad we can share this message out of time, this fragment of reality. I'm recording this just for you, even if those living in the past won't understand it. Our simulated realities will cross sooner or later. Or do you think you're really here now, listening to this recording? Isn't this an animus recreation? Isn't it part of a greater simulation? How far do the ripples in the pool spread? Let's talk, rebel to rebel. We've been held back too long by precursor rules. It's time for new paths with new possibilities. This is not an era of control, but of creation. I've gathered some like-minded precursors to make a new start. We'll stop interfering and start enabling. From your point of view, it will take a considerable amount of time to prepare. But when we're ready, you're welcome to join us. After all, all you have to do is press a button and run another simulation. This is madness. Fiction! Where I thought there would be wisdom, there is only the garbled babbling of a fool. Pythagoras, calm yourself. Maybe this invitation was meant for someone else. There is no need to lose your reason over mere words. This is incredible. 
The knowledge stored here is overwhelming. It will take me years to decipher it all. What about sealing Atlantis? Have you found a way to do it? Oh, yes, yes, I think so. Well, what is it? The staff. The staff is the key. All right. It's time. I can't. Not yet. We can't stay here. We don't have the time. There is so much to learn. With this knowledge, we can turn the tide of fate. That is not our destiny. You said so yourself. You're losing sight of what's important. I will not be ordered around or lectured by you. It was your plan to seal this place, and I agreed to help. That was before I realized what we would uncover about the first civilization. The creation of humankind. We are sealing this place to keep the cult from using it to enslave humanity. That is bigger than your quest for knowledge. The cult will be nothing but an insect to swat once the power is ours. It's too dangerous to leave this place open, and you know it. You wouldn't understand. Your pride will cost us all in the end. It's not about pride. What good is knowledge if you curse all of humanity in the process? It's what you wanted to avoid in the first place. Sometimes it's better if we find our own path. Ugh, we are not ready for the power this place offers. You're right. I cannot save humanity directly, but I can save it from itself. This is your burden now. Humanity's fate will be decided by the choices you make. I understand. Alexios, choose wisely. Everything in order? Then... Open Sesame! So much power! The nodes are interconnected in ways I couldn't imagine! This is more complex than any Isu temple we found. Lispin! The Arctic! I'm recording everything, Layla. You're going to be a hero for discovering this. Do you see the staff anywhere? Not yet. But there's more to explore. I'll find it. The mechanism should be open. What's wrong? I, I don't know, Layla. I'll check my notes on the Isu. Oh, I see it. There's a beam of light missing. Time to troubleshoot. Where is it? What? True knowledge exists. In knowing that you know nothing. A good friend told me that once. Possible. Alexios. Yes. I used to be called the Eagle Bearer, but Icarus is long gone. I've been searching for you. But you can't. It's... <laughs> you weren't really looking for me, were you? It works! The Isu artifact, the staff of Hermes Trismegistus. You must have so many questions, Leila. You know my name? 
Maybe the gods told me. Maybe I had a vision of the future. Maybe the device in your ear is noisy. Sorry. I came here with a purpose. To find you, and put an end to what I started many centuries ago. I have your spear. Would you like it back? Oh. No. You can keep it. It's broken. But... you used it broken. It was powerful. I used it to defeat enemies even Erototos could not describe. But everything must come to an end. I left it to him when its power was exhausted. Something to remember me by. I... I have so much to tell you. That staff is incredibly important. It kept you alive. How? Ask a student of Hippocrates. I hear he still has some. The staff served its purpose. My friends and I are trying to keep it out of the hands of the Templar Order. Listen to me. Order, chaos. If either triumphs alone, the world dies. I tried to bring an end to chaos, and it has only led to ruin. I used to assist Order. Now I fight for choice, freedom, chaos. Pythagoras was right. You are the key to the prophecy. You will restore the balance, Leila. I have fought in too many wars. I have seen too many people die. I've traveled from one end of the earth to the other. This belongs to you now. Promise me one thing. Anything. When you are done, destroy it. Destroy them all. What are you two doing here? You know us. Always on your tail. Old Herodotus couldn't wait to see you. I told you, Van Nevers. Sira is said to hold a secret. A secret no one can fathom. Yes, but a lost world? It's perfectly possible. Atlantis may exist. Sounds like Hui to me, but he's insistent about it. Herodotus is right. Atlantis exists. Incredible. It's true. I can't believe it. Tell me everything. My mother sent me here to meet my real father. You know Pythagoras? It's him. Your father was living in a volcano? Pythagoras? That's unthinkable. It would make him immortal. He had a staff that belonged to the ancient civilization. It kept him alive all this time. Makes perfect sense. Well, where is he? Invite him along. He's your father, after all. He was a stubborn man. He wanted to keep all of the knowledge of Atlantis to himself. <laughs> stubborn. I suppose that trait runs in the family. He means he's sorry for your loss. It's all right. But none of this can ever pass your lips. This stays between us. You have my word. But the world needs to know. We could tell the most amazing tale of our time. Herodotus. Oh, fine. Then it's settled. Let's move forward. Like always.
We've learned a lot, haven't we? You know it all. <laughs> Speak for yourself. I'm on the hunt for truth. Gods know not all your myths are accurate. They come from the gods themselves, who are the most reliable sources we have. You've both been a great help to me. It doesn't matter who's right or wrong. And you would know, as the eagle-bearing demigod you are. <laughs> Perhaps he too is immortal. <laughs> <laughs> sure I am. I do know one thing for certain. This has been an odyssey I won't forget.